Hey, what's going on? Barnaby here. I've got some ugly little friends to introduce you to. They are the Eastern Mole and the Star Nose Mole. And the man who knows moles is Jim Zylstra with Tough Turf Mole Busters. So, it's their, it's their time of year. They're out there wrecking our lawns, huh? They are out digging in the lawns right now. They're eating worms. They're looking for a mate right now. They're doing a lot of damage. All right, I'll show you some of the damage right here. I mean, look at this. This is a raised ridge right here, the kind that you would sprain your ankle on. And this would be the prime indicator, Jim, of moles in your lawn? Yes, you will see piles of dirt, little piles of dirt. You will see ridges pushed up, and usually the grass dies above the ridge because the roots aren't in dirt anymore. They're suspended in air. And you know, it doesn't take too many moles to ruin your party, does it? No, no, just a couple of moles will do a lot of damage. Really? And they're just out there looking for worms? They're just digging for worms. Most, okay. people, most people think they're after grubs, but they are after worms. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, they're after my lawn as far as I'm concerned, so let's talk about the remedies. You would uh, say probably traps are maybe some of the best ways to do it because it's been around forever. Yeah, yeah, these traps that we use are the choker loop made in uh, near Kalamazoo. They were patented in 1894. Out of Kalamazoo? Yeah, out of Kalamazoo. Excellent. And then you got a different type of trap here that has a mole in it, I see. This is the Victor out of sight scissor trap. Uh huh. And uh, they work very similar. They're, both of them are meant to break the mole's back. All righty. And so that happens just below ground. You check your traps every once in a while. If you got a mole, score, right? Yep, you bet. All righty. Is there bait that you can use? Yeah, there are baits that are toxic to the moles. Some granulars out there, some pellets, even some, uh, some of the rubberized worms that you can put in the, the tunnels. If you know where the feeding runs are, you can put the baits in there and, uh, and they're quite effective. Now when you say we can do it, are you suggesting that uh, amateurs handle this problem or always go with a pro? Amateurs can try and when you, uh, when you run into, uh, when you need some more success, you can give me a call. Alrighty. Well, I see you've got uh, all these flags indicate that there's some traps right here. So they're pretty pred predictable creatures. You can uh, kind of sense where their roots are going to be and then put the traps accordingly. Yes, yeah, so you want to be in their main traveling runs uh, if you're going off them with a trap. All righty, well, I'll tell you what. Let's talk about, as we get over to the Surefire Solution over here, some of the home remedies that people try because for years I've heard about putting some goo on your lawn and it'll drive the uh, moles elsewhere. There's throwing firecrackers in there. Does any of that home remedy stuff work? No, none of it works and the only reason it has validity is people do something and coincidentally either the mole dies, the mole moves on, or the neighbor's cat catches the mole at night and they think that what they did caused that mole to go away. Alrighty, but you have here the carbonator which is pretty much surefire technology. This will kill the moles for sure. How does it work? What it does is it compresses carbon monoxide. It will uh, compress it at to 120 pounds of pressure in each of the four soil probes. So we can put so four soil probes in the ground and flood a 300 foot long mole tunnel in less than three seconds. Really? So this was developed specifically for moles? It actually was developed in California for gophers. Bigger creatures and it works on them so it would probably work on moles. Yeah, it will actually definitely work on moles because we're putting in three times the lethal dose for a human being. Okay, so when we talk about injecting stuff into the soil, carbon monoxide, is that safe for everybody above ground? Yes, because once it's out of the tunnel, it dissipates and it's gone. Okay, now I'm imagining that uh, this is like a lawn maintenance service. You come back every once in a while to check on the lawn to make sure that the moles are not tearing it up. How often do you come? We come every other week and uh, our basic program is for three months. We also offer options like the carbon monoxide which is a one-time gassing mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes if you get them in the spring before they have a chance to mate you might knock out the problem. Do we still have time? Here it is just uh, middle of April. Middle of April, middle of May we're gonna start seeing little ones run around. Oh boy so get them while they're not. Exactly. Excellent. Well, I'll tell you what, the name of the company is Tough Turf Mole Busters. You've seen the trucks with the mole apparently driving uh, from the second deck right there. Here is the telephone number to give a call because you know what? Get the problem before it really becomes a big one. 554-9499. This operator will not be standing by. There is also a website you can go to. What is it, Jim? www.tough turfmolebusters.com. Alrighty, you know what? This is the sort of information I love bringing to you because it's all about maximizing your enjoyment for the spring, summer, and fall here in West Michigan. And if you're stressing about moles, come on. Is it really worth your time to do battle mano a molo? No. Hire the experts. I'm talking about Tough Turf Mole Busters. Thanks, Jim. You're welcome. All right.